In the domain name space, different types of information is stored. This information is called resource records. In this lecture, I will explain the most common types of resource records that exist in DNS. First of all, the most common record is an A record. This is the record that maps a name to an IP address. When you go to www.udemy.com, there is an A record in the zone file of the domain udemy.com. This A record is say, uh, named www and it points to the IP address of the Udemy web server. When you browse to www.udemy.com, your client resolves this domain name and finds the www A record and uses the corresponding IP address to contact the web server. This can be used to point many names to the same IP and by pointing them all with C names to one common A record, you can simply change the IP address in an A record when needed instead of having to create lots of individual A records. When a client sees a C name but needs an IP address, he re recursively resolves the name that the C name points to. If this also points to a C name, this goes on until he gets an A record with an IP address. Another record type is the MX record. This type points to a mail server. When my computer or mail server needs to send an email to someone at udemy.com, the first thing that happens is that the sending machine resolves the MX record of the udemy.com domain to get an IP address. The sending machine uses the IP address to connect to the SMT with SMTP to deliver the email. There can be multiple MX record with different priorities for redundancy and load sharing purposes. Next record type is the SOA record, or SOA record. This record must always exist once in each file, and it contains metadata about the zone with parameters like how long the DNS records in the domain should be cached and other timers. We will look deeper into the SOA record in later lectures. The last record type I want to mention is the NS record. This record points to the IP addresses of the DNS server that are authoritative for the domain. By asking for the NS record of a specific domain, you will find out the source of the information, where the information about the zone is actually originated. There are a lot more record types that will not be discussed in this course. TXT record can be used to store any kind of free text information in DNS. The AAAA, which is also called a quad A, and the DNS key records are used by DNS, which will not be discussed in this course either. Now you know the most common record types that exist in DNS. This is good to know in later lectures.